Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Aggie Soccer Show. I'm David Ellis, alongside his Texas A&M head coach, G. Guerreri. G, the Aggies went 2-0 over the weekend, traveling to Stillwater, Oklahoma, for a Big 12 match against the Oklahoma State Cowgirls, where they prevailed 1-0 in a very tough match at the, where the Aggie defense, the Aggie back line, uh, really kind of stepped up. Well, it did after giving up some goals the week before uh, and going into Stillwater and being able to shut out a real good OSU team. And I, I think it's the first time that they've been shut out at their place in, in conference play in the last three years. So it's quite an accomplishment for our players. The, uh, I thought they, we, we were a very good unit in general and uh, goalkeeping was excellent. Some big saves, especially in the second half from uh, Kelly Dyer as, as OSU was pressing forward. But again, uh, you know, a really nice Really nice uh, game for us. We were able to uh, create a lot of good scoring chances. Uh, the goal coming in the first half when uh, Rachel Balliger serves a ball, you know, deep uh, across the uh, the face of the, uh, the the defense for OSU, and uh, Nora Skelton is there to have a touch and then finish it. And then the second half, we had several chances to be able to kind of break it open. Uh, Whitney Hooper got in behind them a few times. We had uh, chances to, you know, really to seal the deal and didn't finish it off, which made the uh, game that much more exciting. <laughs> Well, and then the Aggies travel back to the Aggie Soccer Stadium Sunday afternoon for a nationally televised match on the Fox Soccer Channel against Loyola of Chicago. And the Ramblers came in and gave the Aggies a good contest. The Aggies got behind one to nil and then came back on two great goals. I'll leave the good stuff to you and let you describe it. Well, they were awarded a penalty kick and it's kind of a, a, a tough situation for us to give up a penalty kick like that and, uh, and be down one nothing at halftime. But I was real proud of the way that our team came out in the second half, really went after them. Some great individual efforts, especially by Whitney Hooper, uh, setting up the, uh, the tying goal, putting it through the legs of a defender. Serving a ball across, Nicole Ketchum is in a great position to finish it. Uh, hits a header off the post. Rachel Shipley puts pressure on the ball. And then again, Skelton is there to uh, finish it with a one-timer. So that puts us up, puts us back into position to go after it. The, uh, the Ramblers clear some balls off the line. Chris and Arnold makes a good save for us to uh, keep it at 1-1. We go into overtime and then uh, off of a throw-in from, uh, from Lindsay Ganatzig, it's the uh, Whitney Hooper show as she really beats three players with one great little move and then just hammers a ball using a, a wet surface to her advantage to beat the goalkeeper in the post and it's uh, it's the type of thing that uh, you know you, you need great players to make great plays and uh, and Whitney is one of those great players you're right just a world-class goal by Whitney Hooper now the Aggies go back on the road this coming weekend they will travel up to Ames Iowa Friday evening to take on the Iowa State Cyclones that game gets underway at 7 p.m. And then we'll go over to Lincoln, Nebraska to take on the Nebraska Cornhuskers at 1 p.m. Sunday afternoon. Both of those games will be on AggieAthletics.com. Be sure and tune in to listen. Thanks for watching the Aggie Soccer Show. For G. Guerreri, I'm David Ellis. We'll see you next week.